Hello, today I'm going to show you in Microsoft Excel how to create a column chart and show automatically if there's a decrease from the previous month how to show that column in a red in a red color or a different color if you don't want red. So here's a quick example and then I'll show you how I created this. So I have over in column A months, over in column B revenue. So this could be revenue numbers from your company. If you're a YouTuber, it could be your YouTube monthly numbers. So I've got 100, 220, 330. But when I hit 310, if you notice in November 2018, the number goes down. Same thing for December, the number goes down. So we change November to 400 and watch it go from red to blue. And then I'm again change this to 500, which makes the next month turn red because it dropped down to 360. So let me show you how I made this chart. Let me delete it. Let me get rid of my little notes here. So the easiest way I found to do this is to use an if statement. So I'm going to go to cell C1 and type in the word increase. And by the way, August 2018 for me in this example is my base month. And then in D1 is decrease. And here's your first if statement. I'm in cell B3. I'm going to say if B3 is greater than or equal to B2 comma value of true. What do you want to do? I'm going to return cell B3 comma the value of false is saying what happens if b3 is not greater than or equal to b2 i'm going to do double quotes which means blank so i should end up here with the number 220 which is cell b3 auto fill that down i should get 330 now i should get a couple blanks right here let me tweak these numbers back 300 and 290. I do because I had a decrease followed by another month with a decrease. So there we go. So now over in the decrease column in column D, again, D2 is going to be empty. It's just going to be another if statement. When I'm done, I should only have, when I look at column C and D, if I have a number in C, it should be blank in D and vice versa. If D's got a number, C should be blank. So if B3 is less than B2, return, return a blank. If not, return cell B3. So I should get a blank here. My bad. If B3 is greater than B2, I should get a blank there all the way down. So what I just said is true. If I've got a number in C, it's blank in D and vice versa. So now I do want to chart the base month, which was August 2018. So I'm just going to, I know that that's where I started. So I'm going to put the 100 here. So here we go with this chart and I'm going to use Excel's recommended charts. I'm really trying to chart just column B, but really I put in these two helper columns. So let's see if Excel has a recommended chart that I can use. I highlighted the months, control key. I picked up C1, D1 down, insert recommended charts. I'm on recommended charts. This chart actually right here is pretty close. The only reason I don't like it is it wants to chart multiple columns besides one column and the, the gap or the spacing between the columns is off. So what I would suggest here is come down here and use this stacked column chart because that'll take care of it right there. I'm going to click OK. Perfect. There's my chart. Now you can see it. I don't need increase or decrease. You actually could leave it if you want to. But instead of the color orange, I'm going to 
left click, I'm going to right click one time on any orange. So I did a right click. The fill color, how about the fill color red? Because it's a decrease, that sounds good to me. I could change the blue to another color, but I'm actually okay with the blue. So there we go. I've got August 2018. There's my $100 in revenue. Uh, September 2018 is 220. So increase, increase, increase. And I had two months of decreases. Let's check this out. I'm going to change October to 200. So it should go red. And then November should turn blue. And it did. So there's, it's working. Let's change one more. Let's change August, I'm sorry, April 2019. Instead of 560, the previous month was 500. Let's make it 475. There you go. Anyway, there are my if statements again, right over here. There's the first one I wrote. For the increase, here's the one I wrote for the decrease. I basically just swapped the true and false values. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have webinars also coming up in Excel in January 2020. Thank you for your time. Have a great weekend.